Hey everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Top 10 Songs. You guys ready for some budgie? I'm ready for some budgie. I put together uh, my top 10 favorite budgie songs. I got a bunch of honorable mentions. I got to tell you, I, this was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. It, it's, it's incredible when you actually go and look back at the discography of a band you really, really like. And start picking out favorite songs. And all of a sudden you got this enormous list. And you're like, oh my god, how am I going to whittle that down to 10 Budgie, and you've heard me say this before, um, one of the most underrated heavy rock bands of all time. Definitely a band that should get mentioned as one of the originators of what we now know as heavy metal, alongside Sabbath and Purple and Zeppelin and Heap and, you know, all the the other bands that come up all the time. But this little band from Wales, man, did they have a heavy sound. Man, did they have bone-crunching riffs. Man, did the singer sound like Getty Lee a little bit. So if you can imagine, like, early Sabbath meets Rush, as far as, like, the high-pitched vocals with the bruising, like, crunchy guitars. But at times, they did, like, the Zeppelin thing. They did, like, some folky stuff, a little bit of psych stuff. So they, they mix things up quite nicely, but they have a ton of great songs. So here's your homework. After you see my list, if you've never really listened to Budgie before, you got to go out and check out some of these the, the songs from these guys. Just Even if you take my top 10 list and go you, um, go onto YouTube and research and listen, I think you'll like what you hear. So let's get started, right? Let's start with my number 10. My number 10 is one of their actually later songs uh, from their uh, Power Supply album. They, they did a couple albums in the 80s. They've been fairly silent for a while. They do tour from time to time. Uh, but their album Power Supply had a great song on it called Forearm Smash, which is just a bruising like new wave British heavy metal type tune that I always really, really like. So that comes in at number 10. Coming in at number 9 is a, it's kind of like a two-part song, like kind of like a little mini epic. These guys did a lot of like kind of long, like, seven, eight, nine, ten minute long pieces. And on a couple of occasions, they would do like a part one and a part two. They would play them back to back on the album. And I just always include them as one song. So this one is Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, get get the little humor. A lot of humor in their song titles. Napoleon Bonaparte, one and two. All right, it's like a two song suite put together. Uh, another really good song that displays their use of heavy riffing and just a lot of texture and melody and things like that. So that comes in at number nine. That's off the Bandolier album, by the way. Really good album. Coming in at number eight, off the first album, the self-titled Budgie album, New Disintegrating Parachute Woman. Again, killer, killer riffs, folks. Just a barnstorming song. I really like the first Budgie album a lot. It's pretty damn heavy. Uh, so if you haven't heard it, check it out. That's coming in at number eight. Coming in at number seven off their really, really strong Squawk album, which is their second album, Roger Dean cover, alert, alert, uh, a song called Stranded. Kind of like a moody, sort of heavy blues rock sort of piece, sort of. Um, but I always like that. Another longer, longer piece, but I like that one quite a bit. The Squawk album is really, really good. Uh, coming in at number six from their Never Turn Your Back on a Friend down, probably their most well-known song, mainly because Metallica covered it. Metallica loved Budgie. Uh, the song Bread Fan. A great song with a great groove and more barnstorm and riffs. Just a powerhouse bulldozer of a piece. Really, really cool song. Um, that's coming in at number six. Coming in at number five from my favorite Budgie album, In For The Kill. It's a song called uh, Zoom Club. Just a it, this tune has probably one of the catchiest riffs out of their out of their catalog, but it's so damn catchy, and it's just kind of like a got good groove to it, and it, the song just builds and builds and builds. Awesome stuff. I, I love Zoom Club. It's just um, it's a real up tempo, really good tune. Then we're gonna go to number four from once again from the Never Turn Your Back on a Friend album. The kind of doomy. You're the biggest thing since powdered milk. Again, these song titles, right? Uh, just awesome stuff. That's just such a great, great tune. Uh, coming in, that's number four. Coming in at number three. Talk about bulldoze and riffs. Talk about, you know, you look at some of those great early Sabbath, early purple, early heap, early Zeppelin with those, you know, with 
think Gypsy by like um, Heap and anything off the of Sabbath's first three or four albums, uh, you know, that those just amazing riffs that just grab you by the neck and shake you and just you're never the same after you're hearing it. Well, go check out Guts from the very, very first Budgie album. It's the lead off track. It's the first song anybody, when Budgie first burst on the scene, that's the first song you heard by them. And man, is it heavy. Oh, so good. Next, number two. Kind of, for me, like Budgie's Stairway to Heaven, where you had this kind of just real... It's kind of, for me, it's like kind of like part Stairway to Heaven, part Child and Tom by Deep Purple. You got these really mellow, almost psychedelic, proggy sections, and then just bulldoze and riffs come slamming in that are just so freaking heavy. Uh, and then back to the mellow sections, and then more crescendos. It's just awesome stuff. And that's Young as a World off the Squawk album. Just a great, great track. That's my number two. My number one song was always going to be my number one song. It's always been my favorite Budgie song. Again, it's off their In For The Kill album, and it's the title track, In For The Kill. I, it just This just song just rampages from start to finish. You know, Tony's doing this just incredible riff and guitar solos throughout the song and it's just a whale of a tune that's so crunchy so heavy it's just that i'm I'm just like speechless how budgie was not a huge huge band i really am it's like if you go and start like investigating the budgie catalog you're gonna be like holy crap this stuff is great why were these these guys not huge that's the question i always have you know so let's take a look at my honorable mentions why don't we right so let's go starting from the first album so uh the self-titled budgie album how about the author all right rape of the locks i struggle not including that uh homicidal suicidal all oh, great tunes that first album is so good from the second album squawk how about rockin man how about how does a docker's armpit <laughs> great song titles drugstore woman uh, from Never Turn Your Back on a Friend, their third album. Let's see, what didn't we... Um, In the Grip of Tire Fitter's Hand. Another song that I really wanted to put on here. Uh, Parents is another great song. It's kind of like Young as the World. Kind of another, like, kind of slow builder, moody, kind of doomy uh, type, of, type of track. Uh, from In for the Kill, Crash Course in Brain Surgery. Another song that Metallica covered. Great stuff. Hammer and Tongs. Great tune. Living on Your Own. From the Bandolier album, how about Breaking All the House Rules? Uh, Who Do You Want for Your Love? Another great tune. I Ain't No Mountain. That's another really, really heavy track that I wanted to include. Uh, from If I Were Britannia, I'd Wave the Rules. Very underrated album. None of their songs made my top ten, but I do like a lot of it. Uh, Ann Negan is a great tune. Uh, the title track, as well as Black Velvet Station. I'm sorry, Black Velvet Stallion, which is a great, great song. Another kind of really moody, heavy, almost doomy rocker. From the Impeccable album, Don't Dilute the Water, as well as Melt the Ice Away. From Power Supply, Hellbender and Crimes Against the World. That's a real catchy tune. That's kind of falls in that like new wave of British heavy metal. Uh, and I got one song from their Night Flight album called I Turn to Stone. I like quite a bit. The health, Night Flight album is kind of, kind of commercial sounding. It's starting to move in a different direction, but there's some good solid tracks on there. I Turn to Stone is probably my favorite. It's got a nice chorus, good riff. So let's... Uh, Go back to the top 10, run that through again. Number one, In For The Kill. Number two, Young Is The World. Sorry, Young Is A World. Number three, Guts. Number four, You're The Biggest Thing Since Powdered Milk. Number five, Zoom Club. Number six, Bread Fan. Number seven, Stranded. Number eight, Nude, Disintegrating Parachute Woman. Number nine, Napoleon Bonaparte's One and Two. And number 10, Forearm Smash. That's Budgie. Go out, investigate if you haven't. If you're a Budgie fan, I'd like to hear your favorite 10 songs. Put them in the comments and feedback. So till next time, guys, this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on the Mighty YouTube. Um, more of these coming up. Black Sabbath is coming up any day now. Uh, i got ELO I'm going to work on. All, all sorts of other stuff. A lot of stuff. I'm going to do a Metallica one. Speaking of Metallica, I'm going to do a Slayer one. Uh, MSG Dio. All sorts of stuff coming up. So keep telling me which band you want to hear. Uh, I've got a ton I want to get to. It's just a matter of just kind of squeezing them all in. So enjoy this budgie stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.